Whoa! Come back, everybody. We have our freaking lobster men commander. Oh yeah! I'm stoked. I'm freaking stoked. Let's double check that real quick. Mmm. -mm. Everybody loves a bit of lobster man. Navigator, on your plate. All right, but before we do that, we may as well just finish up our disruptor, uh, ammo and gun because they're really good anyway, and it's almost finished. So why the hell not? So let's go ahead and sell some stuff because I'm running pretty low on ammo. Do 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 do. Uh, grenades. Wow, that's a lot. And so all those yucky corpses. And we don't need calcinites anymore. Bum bum. Sorry, I'm very happy right now. But you would be too if you got your lobster man navigator. Uh, look, our workshop is almost finished, so we may as well just go ahead and just recruit a few more technicians. Why the hell not? No space. What's going on? Are they transferring back? Or did I just forget to add them? Oh, okay, I see. Uh, okay, we'll just go get a few more then. Make it ten. Since we might need some Arquanauts soon. Okay, let's see. I think we had a few wounded, didn't we? Or a few dead, even. So we may as well just redo our Triton. Wow, wounded, wounded. Do, do, do. Commando the second. Alright. Yep. Looks good. Looks very, very good. Now, um, okay, let's just leave it at that. I mean, I, ideally, I probably want a few more bombs, which I can do, actually. There we go. Bombs. Good. That means they get five apiece. Well, five reloads, plus their, whatever's inside their gun. Uh, we're lacking one medikit, aren't we? Hmm. Let's do that for now. Oh, we actually don't have enough medikits. Whoa. Looks like we got to manufacture some then. Right, whatever. That's good enough. All right, what we should do actually is we should probably give some weapons to our second base. Give them about twenty. That's a very important base to protect. So. Um, give me about 20 pulses. Do I have any armor? Or one random plastic aqua armor. Okay, just send that over. Why the hell not? And our fourth base. How's that trailing along? Okay, it's still, everything's still building. So we'll just, we'll just leave that be. Alright, so there's not much else to do here. Um, I'm just going to wait a few, for a few more things to research. Before we can really kickstart things. There we go. And finally, the launcher as well. Done and dusted. Okay, just a small one. We'll just shoot it down and just forget it. Do 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 do. Now the one thing I hate about Superhuman is the ships tend to run away quite a lot. I don't know if you guys noticed that yet, but they run away and it's really, really annoying because sometimes they run away and then like you run out of field trying to catch them. It's so annoying. Okay, so general stores is done. Great. We're not going to build a stoner here because we're really close to getting our transmission resolver <clears throat> and we're just going to waste our money. Uh, that is a gill man, I believe. Let's check out Zerbite supplies. Let's see how that's going. Okay, so we got 500 there, and then we got 
200 there. We do not need any zero byte at all. Let's let that be. Cause, and plus it's during night time as well, so that kind of sucks. You guys have seen enough fleet supply cruises as well. Alright, everyone's got a medikit. Okay. I just want to get my disruptor pulse launcher and start up my staff before I, you know, really start hitting up the really hard stuff. Plus, I would say next month, June, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, um, if artifacts start, start, start popping up. And my goal is to have at least my first tank by then, because tanks are invaluable. For, by tank, I mean Sonic Displacer. Um, invaluable for artifact sites, especially the artifact room, which we should all know that that's just a walking in there is like living ambush. So, all right, so DPL's done, which is great. Let's go ahead and start up on Navigator. And of course, put the DPL on our ship. Uh, where is it? There it is. Okay, yeah, about five clips should do. Uh, let's make it six. Geez, another one. We probably wouldn't even make that in time anyway. It's trying so slow. Oh yeah. Okay, magnetic navigation, thank you, thank you. So if you do play one of the later versions, I'll just repeat myself quite quickly. If you do play one of the later versions, I believe it's like version 2 something or whatever, you don't need the Love's Man Navigator, so I just do this because I like the game to be harder. See if I... Ooh. Okay, this, this ship is trailing really, really close to me. Let's, let's let it be for a bit. Okay reason why we don't shoot it down when it's so close to our base is because the shoot um, the closer you shoot it down to your base the more higher chance that they'll retaliate with a dreadnought sending it right at a floating base attack and those are freaking hard and of course you have the risk of losing your own base um, yeah it's it's not something you want to do Not something you want to do at all. They are fun though. If they, however, land next to your base, and then you send a Triton out, that doesn't count. They will not retaliate. Okay, so transmission resolver and our mag magnetic iron armor is finished. Which one's more important? Well, they're both good, uh, and I'm going to get them both eventually anyway. But I would put transmission resolver in front. Um, why? Because it takes a l ages to actually build. Uh, even, even though magnetic iron armor takes a while to manufacture, um, I would say transmission resolver still takes longer. And, well, very large. What are you up to? What are you up to? What are you up to? You know what? Let's go check it out. Let's go send a Triton actually. Let's go check it out with the Triton. <gasps> oh shit. Was my Triton outside of my base? I won't have my troops. It was. Oh man. None of my guys have armor. This is all my shitty troops. You're kidding me. Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. Let's do this. It's do or die, folks. It is do or die. I had a bad feeling. It was a, uh... It was a thingo. A, uh... Floating base attack. I didn't go off my gut feeling, though. Alright, that's okay. That's fine. Let's, let's do our best. Let's find out what they are first. Okay, so those who are unfamiliar with the floating base attack, 
Here's your sub pens, here's the airlock, and here's everything else. The aliens will always be clogged up in the airlock and the sub pens, and every now and then they'll appear around the base as well. Not as many, but every now and then they can. Okay, so basically, oops, whenever you get onto a base, you always got to look left and right, because they, they could be right next to you, or, you know, like right there. So thank God it's only aquatoids, uh, but with that being said, it's it's still um, quite they're still quite dangerous because they can mind control, and I got a whole bunch of rookies here. So mind control plus rookies is not a good combination. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I do get a bit of. Um, frame loss on my base defense for some odd reason. So I do apologize for that. I've been working really, really hard on, on trying to keep my videos running smoothly, and I know sometimes it hasn't been successful, but um, I've been changing around my settings a lot. So, uh, regardless of my settings, the actual game just does run a tad bits, a tad bits slow. Uh, so this isn't this isn't actually the recording. still haven't seen any in my actual base yet. You know what, we should probably just go through our Arconauts one by one. It's probably easier. I'm not going to bring all of them out because like, I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. But I will, I will eventually bring some more out if I lose some of my guys. Let's go through all my Arconauts one by one. Just make sure everyone it's not sitting in a dead zone. Look, guys up here who aren't really doing much. Bring him down because he's got a vibrate load. Okay, that should be about enough. We don't need to bring everyone. It's probably not even a good idea to bring everyone. And by the looks of it, I don't think any have actually spawned inside my actual base, so that's, that's good news, but shouldn't uh, shouldn't be you can never be too careful with that. Okay, I don't know if I have any grenades. Okay, here we go. Grenade. So what we want to do, right, is we want to blow these doors up. Next to the airlock, because they are no good. I want to be able to see clearly in there. Right, so that first grenade will blow up the doors. The second grenade is to actually blow up whatever's behind the door. I remember one particular um, campaign I did ages ago. I uh, got a base attack in the very first like week or two, I think it was. Um, let's just say it was like the fastest game I've ever lost. <laughs> okay, there. I must have missed him sometime, somehow. That's okay. Whoa! Okay, I definitely missed him. That was really bad. Really, really clumsy. Okay, let's let's go find out where they are. So I think it was up here, wasn't it? Okay, so we've got the guy over here. That's fine. Now the good news is, if you do actually get a base attack in the first month, right, holy crap. Uh, okay, that guy's got a thermal shock launcher, and that's really, really dangerous for all my guys here. Huh. 
Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's let's take a risk. Let's take a risk. We've got to go out, get the guy out the thermal shock launcher first. Great. Alright, get out of there. Good job. Ah, for some reason, it's not popping up. And I'm fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. Alright, do we have another grenade? If not, oh, there we go. Yeah, I probably shouldn't clump my guys so much up like this when I don't have any armor. So, okay, 42. To prime and throw. Yeah, I was just saying. Um, so the good news uh, of actually getting a terror mission in your very first month is um, you can get your vi well, usually it'll probably be aquatoids. A very high chance will be aquatoids. Uh, it'll um, you can you can get the vibro blade really really early, really early. And as you can see here, like I had to wait how many months? Like four or five months to actually get my vibro blade. And that's a big difference. So if you get it, don't quit straight away. Give it a shot. Well, if you're not playing Iron Man, then it's, it's obviously it's very worth it. It's just holy crap! You can see here they just they just love hanging out. Uh, yeah. Okay, now in this particular scenario, just listen to my train of thought here. The to the aliens had to spend time units to move here, right? This guy's got a cannon. This guy's got a sonic blaster rifle. Sonic Blaster Rifle obviously takes less time units to shoot than a cannon. Therefore, there's a like, more likely prob probability that this guy's going to have enough for a res uh, what do they call it? reaction fire than the guy with the Sonic Cannon. Um, it's obviously not 100%. And obviously, an MC reader would be best to deal with this situation to actually find out yourself. But this is just going by my wit. Plus, both weapons will come in one hit anyway, so I may as well just go with my wit. There you go. There you go. I mean, for all I know, they could have both not had enough time units. But this is going pretty well so far. Pretty damn well. I don't think I've missed a single shot yet. These guys are, seem to be performing better than my main crew for some reason. So we'll just keep opening the door and keep clearing out whatever's it. Jeez, this guy. He's, what's his reactions? Let's take a look. He's here, right? He's killed two of them with his reactions now. 58. There you go, folks. And that's the difference between high reactions and low reactions. Alright, what we should do, right? We should probably duck, crouch these guys. Because crouching can naturally cause reaction fire, so just crouch them before we open the door. Okay, so that guy's got no weapon, and this guy's got a cannon. This guy probably doesn't even have enough time units to actually shoot, but it doesn't matter. We'll just kill him anyway. Doesn't make a difference. Oh, there's our first shot. First shot missed. And look at that. On such a good streak as well. Um, let's send one more guy up here. Now you notice when I'm guarding this area here, right? Notice how I'm standing one, not one, not here, not one step away, but two tiles away. Okay, because if I'm if I'm standing here, right, guys from here can shoot me, and likewise here, they can shoot me from up here. So you've got to stand two tiles away, so for them to see me, they actually have to walk right here. I don't, know, I don't know if you guys remember, but this guy actually got a few kills already from his reaction fire by doing that. So this obviously doesn't just apply to base missions, this applies to everything. So when you can, and then you're standing at a corner, stand one step away. <clears throat> Alright, I think we've cleared the airlock. So what we need to do is send our guys with our shock launchers and our pistols. Send them in. Yeah, 
Yeah, sometimes this airlock, like, it's broken. It's really annoying. That's probably the commander up there. Commanders usually hang... Oh, no, they usually hang out in the sub pens. It's probably just some random technician. Yeah, the commanders usually hang out in the sub pens. So if you do get a Lobster Man one, it's worth checking out to get your Lobster Man commander. Save yourself going to a colony. Or, or to a normal dreadnought. You gotta check out here. This guy can go around. Oh, okay, six time units should be right. Cow there, so this is step one back. Actually, I don't know if he's gonna be able to do that. Oh, there we go. Uh, we'll probably need some backup, so let's, let's send a few guys just up here. Alright, that looks pretty good. So yes, yeah, so far so good. I think I've only lost like one or two guys, and that was only because they spawned in my base. Let's quickly search around the airlock, make sure everything's clear. Okay, everything looks good. Okay, I think that's Kalsonite just standing there, being an idiot. Where's the second guy? Okay, that guy doesn't have a gun. Huh, which one's more dangerous? Well, that Kalsonite's pretty far away, and this guy can throw grenades, so I'll put this guy ahead. That's dangerous. That's really dangerous. Uh, huh. I don't think we can actually do anything about that. I hate to say it, but um, let's move back. Let's hope he didn't see us. Hope he just stands there and does nothing. Actually, sometimes they will get him next time. Oh, here he comes. Ow. Ow. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't expecting to go through this at all uh, without my, without any casualties using these troops without any armor. As long as I get through this alive, that's all that matters to me. Although a couple of these troops are going through MC training right now, so that's a bit of a bummer. Now you notice how um, some of these guys are actually losing, uh, let's see how that's blue, that's had, losing a bit of uh, health, not losing health, but it's like the type of health, it's like stun health, I guess we call it. If, if that blue bar goes up, then they'll get stunned, they'll fall unconscious. Jeez, how many are there? Um, that's from standing in the smoke. However, um, all armors, including plastic aqua armor, they actually do... Um, protect you from that smoke damage. It's probably the only thing plastic aqua armor is actually good for, to be honest. It doesn't really protect you from any damage. Uh, he's not going to have enough time units to, to actually sh hide. I'm just going to... He's only got a thermal shock launcher, so I don't really care if he gets hit. Yeah, whatever. just going to keep my other guys away from him. So he's probably going to get stunned next time. Now would probably be a good time to actually send some reinforcements as well. I'm running a bit low. Send a few more guys up. I still had that guy up here as well, didn't I? Uh, let's put him here. Okay, yeah, that should do the trick. That's a lot of guys. Boom. Okay, 
That's right, no surprise. And he's not dead. Just gotta make sure not to throw a grenade there. Okay, let's get him. Oh, come on. I don't know, for some reason, snapshots with the sonic cannon just tend to, tend to be really, really bad. The aim shots are just in a whole new world of their own. Okay, this is getting bad. <laughs> One shot and I'm going to get a lot of guys stunned. Have to get him. Come on, Mark. There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, phew. Come on, move up. So, it's just a matter of uh, exploring the other two sub pens. And we are in the clear. These sub pens can be a bit tricky because of line of sight. Really, really um, jumbled up. Shit everywhere. It's stuff blocking stuff everywhere. Okay, he's panicking. Um, I think he was right in front of us, but he's panicked anyway, so whatever. Right, maybe it was here. He was definitely at this door somewhere. Maybe he's at the other sub pen. Must be at the other sub pen. That's fine. Let's take a quick peek. Yeah, he's definitely at the other sub pen. That's fine. Nice and cautious now, because I do know that there is a guy there. Well, let's send a few more guys up. Should be enough to, <laughs> to finish this mission. Okay, there's a weapon there, so nobody's dropped it. Almost finished. There he is. It's the naked aquatoid. Take a quick pick to see if there's any more. Okay, just the one. We can just stand next to him and just shoot him next time. And we can also use him as a human shield as well, in case any other aliens try to get me. Gotta be super careful of those uh, green things. Where are they? These things here. Because they actually explode. Uh, it's, it's not really harmful if you shoot them, that is. It's not really harmful if you're wearing armor, but if you're not wearing armor like I'm doing right now, it will kill you. Can and will kill you. Okay, I think that's it. Alright. That was really good. Unexpected, but, you know, look at that. No armor, a dreadnought full of aliens, 22 aliens, 23, if you can include the live one. Or four, eight, uh, four guys without any armor and just whatever equipment's lying around my base. That's, that's really good. Guys, that's a lot to learn from there. Um, base defenses are hard, but they are doable. 